big fire that took place in Rio in the late 1700s. A lot of the sobrados were, uh, were bur burned down, and a lot of them were destroyed to build high rises. But this remained. And this sobrados here are the most important ones because this, you're very close to the royal palace, mm -hmm. so very important people were placed here, okay? So this were, if you were closer to the royal family, closer you to the palace, you will stay. All right, so that's always the idea. Um, and this here, travessa, travessa means alley, and commerce means commerce. This was the first area where this, the Portuguese established a official commerce, all right? So this one uh, in third place. And um, someone pointed out to me about the slave. Um, it will take up to three months for the slaves to get to Brazil. 30% of all the slaves that came to Brazil died crossing the ocean, okay? Um, and here we have a very interesting, um, sorry, mural, okay? And I don't, if, I don't know if you know this, uh, it happened everywhere. Some of the slaves were allowed, were able to buy their own freedom. And in Brazil, many of the slaves that bought their own freedom were women. The reason was, on Sundays, given that Brazil was a very Catholic country, the slaves did not work. So some of the women were allowed to make food to sell on the streets. And this is what it is showing here. So they were allowed to sell things on the streets on Sundays, and half of the money would go to the owners, and they would keep half. And some of the women were able to save enough money to buy their own freedom and the freedom of their families. So that's why in Brazil, most of the slaves who bought their freedom were women, even though the husband was the one that claimed they bought the freedom. Because the money were making it, the women were making the money. But they, as, as women, they could not buy their freedom directly. The men had to do it. Does that make sense? So that's, this is this part. Here, uh, that's what some people say was the second, when the second slavery started. This is the slave people wandering around when slavery was over. In fact, we have um, documentation of where some of the families were be begged to be taken back because they have no homes, no work, no money. So just, they, they just wander around. They were homeless, literally. So this is this part here. And here is the part where the marriage between among the slaves were not, was prohibited by law. And then, and then, even after slavery was over, a white man could not marry a white woman, a black woman. So this illustrates a little bit about the white man. It's a typical the stereotype of Portuguese, you know, the mustache, flirting with a black woman. You know, the mulata. Okay, mulata is the woman that is mixed, black and white. When I went to Cuba, my friends there said, if you really want to compliment a woman, doesn't matter how uh, dark or light she is, call her a mulata. You know, and so, and he did that. So he called people, women that he know, oh mulata, please come here, and they'll come all happy. And Brazil is the same. You know, a lot of women, even though it's changing, don't like to be called uh, nigga, but if they say mulata, they really feel like, you know, appreciated. Okay? Mulata. 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 All right? So, questions, comments? No? I'll give you time to take pictures. Let me know if I can want, if you wanted me to take your picture as well. I call it. For, I mean, for the people that came over here, right? Mm -hmm. And they had to find a place for them to stay, right? Uh, yes, those buildings were built, called So Glad. Okay, now, was that, was that just the African? No, just for the Portuguese. Just for Portuguese. Yeah, for the Portuguese, you know. Yeah, the Africans had this great for us. Okay. Okay? The African women have that for Yeah, they like yeah, the mix, you know, the, when you're black and white.